Victor Davis has said, what can we do to encourage uh, BAME community to get more involved in sports? But Will's also asked about um, what's the role of athletes and those with high profiles to speak about societal issues such as Black Lives Matters? Should clubs, associations, and event organisers take more responsibility on these issues rather than leaving it to the high profile sports stars to speak out? Okay, so let me go for the last two and then I'll go for the first one last okay so the last two you're talking about basically where does social responsibility lie essentially and I think that's something really interesting that I've been thinking about as well so because I'm coming from a shy person I'm very much like oh people can definitely have thoughts behind closed doors and it shouldn't the onus shouldn't always be on the individual so that's where I originally thought we shouldn't always be on the individual to speak out simply because you never know what people are dealing with like they might have the opinions but you can't get angry at somebody for not speaking out because they might be going through anxiety they might be depressed and whilst they might have a really big platform personally for them putting themselves in a debate might not be the right move for them so that's why I always caution with the shaming of people that don't say anything or don't use their profile because you never know what somebody's fighting behind closed doors and you never Never know the private action that they're taking so firstly I fundamentally disagree with shaming so no but as on who the responsibility lies I think that's a very interesting question um, I think it very much depends on the time that we're in I think that it, you have to be you have to stand up for what's right I think and I think previously when lots of discourse uh, in in the public sphere was a bit different people felt a bit more relaxed and they felt like they didn't have to speak up because things weren't where they are now if that makes sense so I think it very much depends on the time um, I don't think we should leave it to public figures I do sometimes think whilst it's fantastic that individuals are raising and I think it's amazing and I very much credit and have donated myself I think it's amazing that people are raising so much money for these causes but you also have to question why is it up to high profile individuals to be doing the work of um, higher bodies? And, but that doesn't negate the fact that they should, that if, you've got a, if you've got a platform and you do have, and you especially as a role model and you've got people looking up to you, you do have a responsibility to speak up. Um, but I think it depends on the times that we're in. And the, for the times right now, I think it's entirely appropriate because um, sadly we're at a point where a footballer has to raise money to get children school meals like that's where we're at quite frankly that's what it is and it's fantastic that it's done and it deserves all the applause but it doesn't take away from the crux of the issue and um whilst that is an issue people with high profiles you've got you you do have to do that job and whether you agree with it whether you think it's right or not um sometimes you have to step in it's a luxury to be able to disengage uh from pressing issues but um it's the times we're in. If, if other people have to step in and help because not everything is working the way that it should do for, for the most vulnerable or the BAME community or specifically the black community, then um, it has to be said. So yes. And what was the first question? <laughs> Sorry. It was about how you get uh, more sort of open access to sport and physical activity from black and Asian minority ethnic children. Because I, I guess athletics is quite critical yeah. well, in terms of yeah, I have to speak not. I have to not talk about athletics in this in this uh, question because athletics is a very well, particular. Well, it's a very uh, popular sport with the black community, entirely mm -hmm. popular. But um, I think it's very. I think it's that's a very complex issue, and I think it cuts across class. I think it cuts across gender. I think it cuts across um, where you live, city, in the country. So um, lots of the sports in these countries, in in this country, lots and lots of them. So rugby, cricket, horse riding, there. Um, it tends to be more of a class thing. So where you tend to get the typical breakdown of race tends to more fall into class boundaries. And you always find if there's like initiatives or there's schemes to link up um, people from different backgrounds to different sports where they might not get exposed to it at school or they might not play it with their friends on the playground, then yeah, they'll take it up. So I think it is about access and opportunity primarily. But also this is what I've been working on in my pri um, privately as well. It's also about visibility and it's also about seeing what you can be. And you always think, why is, why is track and field such a popular sport with the black communities? Because black people see other black people doing well it tells you that you can do well does it mean that black people um 
only play that sport of course not but you have to see it to believe it not everybody is built to be a pioneer so you have to see it to believe it if a black girl sees Simone Biles she sees Gabby Douglas she believes that she can do it but if she's been watching gymnastics and nobody looked like her she might respect it she might think it's fantastic she might be brilliant at doing backflips in her garden but she might feel uncomfortable going to her local sports club because that's still a big move for a child and I think that does have a lot to do with with how we market sports particularly with women as well and how we um, engage people that live in inner city communities as well but it is a lot to do with visibility and when you have visible role models and and you have visible role models and then clear pathways into that sport then you'll get a more diverse uptake but um, it's a big issue. It yeah. goes across, it, it could hit on everything. It could be like, why aren't people from this community going and I don't know, doing being art historians? Like, you know, it's, it's more than just sport. It's, it's so many things. I mean, I think a lot of the time, you know, Nelson Mandela said sport has the power to change the world. Mm -hmm. And there's so much that I agree, you know, sport can, um, physical activity can do so much, but it's also about the structures and the culture yeah. around you. Yeah, you know, I mean, if it was easy to fix, we'd have fixed it by now. Mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah, on boards, <laughs> people on boards, disabled people on board yeah, like, it's, exactly, exactly it's exactly that if it was easy to fix or if it was just a sport thing it would have been fixed like that because we want to see everybody doing it as well and if it was if it was just a sport thing the move would have been made but it's it's so wide it's 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 something that affects so many aspects of society it's also why you've got certain people in certain jobs and certain entertainment industries it's it's a bigger issue